Today, I'm going to show you about the processor route and attribute. We can make some decisions on the attribute of the flow file. So there will be some uh, attributes for a specific flow file for every flow file, and we can make decisions based upon that values. So I'm going to show you that demo today. So in order to do that, uh, we, we need to have a process group. Let's name it as route on attribute. Demo. I'm adding this process group. Let's go inside this process group and then pull a processor. Here we are getting a file from a location. So we're going to use getting get file processor and little bit enlarging it, okay, make it bigger. And then let's configure this. So the input directory for this will be var temp source one. Let's say this is the input directory. I hope this directory exists on the local file system of my file. And then apply. So this get file will pick the files from that location where temp source one. If I hover on the warning symbol, it says relationship success is still need to be handled properly. So once we pick up that file, we're gonna move that to the next processor, which is route and attribute. We have route on content as well, as you see while I'm typing this. Route on attribute and route on content. First, we will discuss about route on attribute and then we can go through the route on content. So I will give a connection from get file to route on attribute when it is successful, okay? So this process is good at this point with respect to configurations. And uh, here we can see this, we, we need to configure this configure and routing strategy, route on property name. We need to add a property like if the file is JSON, this is a property name and we need to give an expression language here to may uh, on some attribute names. Here, I will make a decision on the attribute called file name. So let's cancel. Okay, let's cancel this. And if I run this once, get file, refresh, or uh, let me start this process at least because the input directory doesn't have any files yet. So so yeah, if I type pwd, I'm in Vartem source one. Right now, I, we don't have any files here. Let me touch sample.json. So it is picked by the NIFI process. So if you refresh here, I don't see it. Okay, let me do one thing. Maybe I have um, earlier processor that are running. Let me stop those things, stop, because maybe that processor have picked this file let me touch it again and come to this processor group yes it, it's already in queue it picked that file it, in, it is in queue if i enable if i click on the list queue i can see one file sample.json and the timestamp is just now the created last access time is this okay it picked the file now, if we can see that the name of the file is sample.json, right? And it has that attribute. List queue. Click here. If you see here, the attributes are, it has a file name as sample.json. I'm going to use this file name 
and I will make a decision whether this file name has JSON string in it. I will route it to separate uh, process. And then if it is not, it is unmatched, we can route to another process processor. Okay, let me drag processor put file and configure this if is json is json this can be anything this is a logical name but however here our actual expression comes into picture if you want to refer a value an attribute you have to enter the dollar symbol and then parenthesis lower braces and then control space you will get all the values but here i want to make this some file name contains a string called json because our file name is sample.json so if this matches apply And then if you drag from route and attribute to put file, it says on which relationship. So if is JSON, if the string matches, then this is a Boolean value, which is true. Then it will route to put file. And we have one more relationships to be matched. I will drag one more processor file drag this if it is unmatched route it to another location put this file into another location so let me configure the location here destination one in the first case I'll, i'm moving if it is json i'm moving to destination one and relationships i can terminate both success and failure it should be fine or else if you want to yeah for now i can terminate later we can have a log proper log handling error handling even for this put file, we can set the property as destination two. And then the relationships we can terminate both on success and failure. Now everything is good. So if I run this processor once, route an attribute, refresh, if you see here, it matched the JSON is JSON and it is queued here. If I list queue here, and click on attributes, it says this is JSON is enabled. The route on attribute dot route is is JSON that is enabled. So if I place a file csv it, it will be picked and uh, it is in queue here just run once route an attribute refresh if you see here it is queued with unmatched because it is not dot json it is dot csv and there is no json string in it and let me start the other processor as well start start refresh and let's go Test one of um, destination one, you will see a sample.json. Destination two will see sample.csv with the current timestamps. So that's it. Uh, this is how it works. Uh, the route and attribute. We can make decisions on the attribute of the flow files and we can take appropriate actions on that. In the next chapter, I'm gonna say about route on content as well. Thank you. Have a great day.
please subscribe to the channel.